turn the desert green and raise their income above its present eight pounds a year. But that power isn't available. Zia cannot dissolve the harsh deprivations of this area merely with Islam. He says he sent aid, but the Baluch deny this and threaten revolt. President Zia seems to think that Islamification of the country will solve the economic, social ills and bind the country together. What do you think? Well, I tell you so far the Islamification is concerned. I don't know what it means by the Islamification from uh, General Zia. But it has been uh, never tried, the Islam, after uh, our Prophet and his uh, Khalifs. Everybody who used the name of Islam and Islamic system, they only brought some Islamic law to support their despotism, their empire, their kingship. But today when uh, General Zia said that he is going to bring Islamic law, we have seen only uh, some <clears throat> penal laws from the Islamic code and two taxes, Islamic taxes you can say, a land revenue and one another tax. So this is not really, this will not meet the needs of the people. If you don't get these conditions that you want, what are you going to do? I tell you, so far as the people is concerned, it is quite clear. This is not a question of Bluchistan only, it is the question of the whole of the Pakistan. And the Pakistan people, if they need their shelter, their food, their education, and their uh, <coughs> needs were not met, the people will overthrow all these rulers, and they will bring a system which fits them.